here's a new little technique that you might not have done before. I'm going to be cooking a whole snapper in salt. So I'm going to make a salt crust and then cover the fish and bake it in the oven. It's actually very easy to do and if you're serving quite a lot of people or have a party, this is a really great way to serve a lot of people with little difficulty. Now the crust includes a lot of salt. I know it looks a little bit scary, but this salt is only going to act as a cocoon to the fish and season it slightly. Now this needs to be the consistency of wet sand. This is three kilograms of salt. In here, I'm going to add eggs. I just want the egg whites for this and I'm not going to waste the egg yolk because I'm going to use that to make a mayonnaise later on. So carefully break them straight into the salt and reserving that egg yolk. The egg yolk can go into this bowl at the front here. And for the second egg, after I've added the eggs, the only other ingredient I'm adding to this is water. So always add a little bit at a time, mix it with your hands and then add a little bit more. So here's a jug of water, just standard cold water and I'll add about a quarter of a cup to start with. And then with your hands, mix that egg and the water. You can even get away with adding one more egg white if you like. Now you can see how that's looking like wet sand now. That is the perfect result because once you just press it together and it almost sticks, we're in business. All right, I'm gonna place this to the side while I start preparing the fish. Now I've asked my fishmonger Manny from Planet Seafood to leave the scales on because it's going to allow the salt to hold onto the fish but without over seasoning it. And when I take away the crust later on, those scales and skin will come off very seamlessly. Now to flavour the fish. Classic flavours, lemon, thin slices of lemon can go in. One lemon is plenty. And this is a 1.5 kilogram snapper. You can do a bigger one or a smaller one. The time of cooking will be a little bit different. So in with our lemon rounds, along with some fennel. And the fennel, I'm just going to roughly slice some of it. I'm going to leave the fronds. These fronds are gorgeous for the garnish, so I'll keep those for later. And then again, the fennel can go in to the cavity and fill it up. Now some thyme, a few sprigs of thyme, might add a little bit more. And that's it for the garnish. Of course, I'm not going to season it with salt. That's all we need to do with it. We just need to start wrapping it in its crust now. A large tray is needed for this. I've also preheated my oven to 180 degrees. And the first layer needs to be half of this salt, this wet sand-like salt. So pile it up and then spread it out. I'm going to put the fish on a diagonal, so almost make a little bed for the fish. Okay, now we can grab our fish and pop him on top. Ensure that the salt is touching all of its body from top to tail. And now for the remaining salt, on top and pressing down and you want to cover the entire fish. You want to encapsulate the fish, so make sure you don't see any of the flesh. Now the fish has come out of the oven. I'm so pleased with the result. You can see that this has really acted like a cocoon hard as a rock. So when I break into that, that fish is going to be incredibly moist. Now it's still just a little bit hot. I am allowing it to rest. And while it's resting, I can get onto a little sauce to go with the fish. This is just those leftover egg yolks. And I'm going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm going to make a simple mayonnaise and I'm going to flavor it with cayenne and saffron. So I'll start to whisk the yolks and the mustard. And then very slowly you want to add the oil. 
I'm using grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is a low scented oil, which means it won't be too harsh. It needs to be quite neutral so we can taste all of the other flavours that are going in. And you can see that I'm just adding a small amount of oil each time. Do this because this is going to ensure we get a really thick mayonnaise as opposed to a mayonnaise that's not going to thicken. So using a whisk, just whisk through each little dribble of oil and then whisk again. The mayonnaise is taking shape now. See how it's sticking to the whisk? That is just perfect. Now a little bit of garlic, not too much garlic because you don't want it to overpower. So about half of this clove, scrape that off. I'll also add a little bit of lemon zest. We need some vinegar in this, a little bit of sherry vinegar. And for some heat, some cayenne pepper. And I love fish and saffron. Very Spanish, very nice. And you don't need too much. You need a few small strands to stain the color of the mayonnaise and give it that really nice floral flavor. So we'll put that to the side now. Mix that up. It's lovely and thick. All right, let's get on with the fish. Now you can be quite delicate with this or you can do it the Justine way, which is just get in there and break the big chunks. And then you'll see it'll come off in one big section. Look at that. Isn't that extraordinary? Simple thing as salt and fish can really cook something so well. Now that that has come off, it's really easy. You just have to peel away the skin to expose the flesh. See how it comes off so easily? Just peel it away. Now to portion, I'm gonna take one big piece away from the bone and I wanna show you how moist this fish is. Look at that. Doesn't get any better. Yum. Onto a plate. I'll get another little piece, leaving those bones away. A little dollop on the side. And then don't forget those little fennel fronds that I did save before. A few just over the top. And I'm going to cut a little lemon cheek. It's the simple things in life that are sometimes the best. This is the perfect example of it. Give this a go. If you don't want to do it with snapper, you can do it with trout, we can do it with salmon. And this mayonnaise just works perfectly with fish that's been steamed in a cocoon of salt.